At the time of releasing this video, Nintendo recently dropped Luigi's Mansion 2 HD for the Nintendo Switch, a game that was originally released on the Nintendo 3DS back in March of 2013. This game is out and about, and it's safe to say that fans are not happy with this release. I wasn't too keen on picking this game up, since I'd never really liked the original on 3DS. Then again, I had never played the game in full, so take that with what you will. The original Luigi's Mansion is a game that I absolutely adore, and to me, 2 felt like a game that tried to reinvent the formula rather than expand upon what came in the first, but I digress. Hearing that this game was getting an HD port to the Switch didn't really excite me too much. I mean, sure, it was cool that we were getting a port of this game in general, more re-releases of old games on modern hardware is always a good thing, but there was always a thought in my mind that a remaster of the original game on GameCube would be far superior since it would pair much better with Luigi's Mansion 3 in my opinion. Although I did end up changing my tune pretty quickly when one day I tuned into everyone's favorite cesspool Twitter and saw that fans were pretty livid about HD. I mean, I was too, in all honesty but not for the same reasons. From what I was seeing on Twitter, a lot of people were complaining about the lack of new features brought to the table. This game just seemed to be a very faithful port of Luigi's Mansion 2 on the Switch slapped on with a $60 price tag simply because it looks slightly better. You know, I didn't even like the game that much in the first place. This, uh, this doesn't help your case at all, Nintendo. Man, I want to finish Paper Mario. People are actually asking for a full review of that game, yet here I am making a video on Luigi's Mansion 2. Uh, enjoy. So, before we actually get into the game itself, I do want to touch on some pre-release things that I've noticed about the game, particularly with its marketing. There's just about none of it. Nintendo is usually very good with marketing their games, especially when it comes to Super Mario and his many spin-offs. Luigi being one of them, you know, you would think Nintendo would want to push this stuff out, but it seems they're trying to hide something or get it under the radar. This is actually the last major game that we've known about before their absolute bombshell of a direct in June, and Nintendo's trying to send this game out in a whisper before it even releases. Compare this to any other Mario game and you're gonna see a very different story. Princess Peach Showtime and Super Mario RPG got an extensive library of trailers to generate hype before release. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Remake only has four videos, but none of them are 30 seconds long like the direct trailer for Luigi's Mansion 2. Maybe Nintendo knows the discourse surrounding the game and is trying to keep a low profile with a quiet launch? I, I mean, who knows, but this is still really, really strange. Well, I guess I won't worry about that for now. It's time to actually get into the game proper and, uh... Flap and Flotsam, what's that? You may think my outburst just now is because of the game's underwhelming visuals, and you'd be partially right. As I've explained in my Paper Mario First Impressions, there's only so much you can get a grasp of before you really need to get the game in your own hands. And, uh, get this game in my hands I wish I didn't, because this feels absolutely atrocious! To say that this game didn't even do the bare minimum is an understatement, because it feels like barely anything has changed. The controls are practically unchanged from the original in the 3DS, and to some, that may be a good thing in preserving what the original game brought to the table for those who enjoyed it. You know, that's always a good thing, but not updating the controls for a modern console feels downright despicable. It, normally, it wouldn't even be that big of an issue, but the controls on the 3DS had to be fiddled with due to the lack of the 3DS's right stick, and some compromises had to be made, such as pushing the X and B buttons to look up and down. This is, uh, this is still brought over to the Switch port, and it just doesn't feel right the slightest. I'm going to be comparing this a lot to Luigi's Mansion 3, as it's the only other Luigi's Mansion game on Switch, but this game controls swimmingly. Everything feels great and up to where it needs to be. This just feels weird coming back to it. I mean, yeah, okay, sure, the addition of the dual stick controls makes the game slightly more playable now that I can control Luigi's aim with his flashlight. Having him being stuck upright in one direction like he's too scared to turn around kind of sucked in the original game, so this is pretty nice. Oh, yippee, I can control Luigi's aim now. What an addition that absolutely no one expected to be here. Thanks, Tantalus! Now I get why Nintendo's so afraid to reveal who's making their porch, because if in the first trailer for this game they announced the fuckers who brought you Skyward Sword HD, yeah, pretty much everyone would have wrote this game off immediately, so yeah, I understand. The only difference is that Skyward Sword HD actually added more than two quality of life improvements to the game. I get that a lot of people expected this to be more than just an upscaled port of Luigi's Mansion 2, but when Nintendo does that, they usually put more than just HD in the title. If this game did offer more than a basic port, Nintendo would have called it something like Deluxe or Remastered. So the game not offering much outside of the base game just isn't that big of a surprise to me. I'm not I'm not losing sleep over it. Uh, but, but, Daddy, I hear you ask in the audience. They did add something new. What about the look 
luxurious and amazing skyscraper mode. That's pretty cool, right? You know what, little viewer? Yeah, that is pretty cool. I really enjoyed my time in Luigi's Mansion 3 skyscraper, so this has got to be a good time too. Let me ask you one more question, however. Do you have any friends who are itching to play Luigi's Mansion 2 HD Scarescraper mode? Yeah, me neither. It's about everyone knows that this game is, you know, it doesn't even let you explore the mansions for too long before EGAD rips you back into reality and sets you up for another mission. This is my first time really going through Luigi's Mansion 2, so even though I've heard about the mission structure for a very long time, I've never experienced how it is in person, so I could have never anticipated that it was going to be this damn bad. This is mostly just a me thing, but this is not what I know Luigi's Mansion 4, or Luigi's Mansion 5 for that matter. An easy comparison for this is like Super Mario 64. Being ripped out of the level the second you get a star, it's kind of inconvenient, but it's such a short time in and out of a painting that it's not really that big of a deal. To be fair, it's not a big deal in Luigi's Mansion 2 either, but I'm biased and I don't like it. The most common complaint with this game is not being able to explore the mansions at your leisure, and you know what, I totally agree here. It only gets even worse when you're pulled out of the mansion only to get thrown back in to retrace your steps all over again for a slightly different mission. The best missions in the game are the first missions and the boss missions, only because of the novelty that you're in a brand new location and exploring it for the very first time. I think it's very, very clear after binging this game for multiple hours on end that this is something to be played in smaller chunks over time, which frustrates me a lot, I'm gonna be real. Unfortunately for Nintendo, I don't want to play this game once a day for 15 minutes or so like it's Animal Crossing. It only makes the game drag on and on and on when every 15 minutes or so of gameplay you finish a mission and have to hear Egad yap on and on about how a new development has happened in the mansion you're in. Could he not have just told me over the DS or something? I mean, this isn't even a remaster thing. I feel like this could have been in the original game. And when you respawn, it's in the same exact location every single time, so, you know, I understand why people think this game gets tedious very quickly. Luigi, to advance in the mission, you need to collect the keys to the gate that the ghost stole. Okay, cool, now come back to my lab. Okay, never mind, I forgot my car keys. Go back to the mansion because we need to get those. Oh, damn, the dog got my car keys, and let me wrap you back to my fucking lab to discuss. Wait, never mind, you smell like shit. Go back in the mansion, go through the entire fucking thing thing again on a really stupid goose chase for the dog who stole my keys. This is so boring. I just went all the way up the mansion to get this key. Why in God's name do I have to do it again in a slightly different way? This structure, plain and simple, just isn't very fun. It doesn't fit a game like Luigi's Mansion at all, or at least not the Luigi's Mansion I know. I mentioned the bosses earlier, which are definitely the next best thing when it comes to this game. The portrait ghosts being gone aren't really the biggest deal to me because a majority of those characters in the original game aren't bosses and they, uh, they don't have too much death on how they're captured. These bosses, for the most part, are straight up puzzles. The first boss in the game, the spider, is so fun to figure out and fight. It takes the mechanics you learned throughout the levels previous and applied it here to make something really fun and engaging. See, this game isn't all bad. I'm also a big fan of the environments in the game and how they're handled, and when I say handled, I'm talking mechanically and not visually. The environments are very fun and unique to one another, although I'm not the biggest fan of having five separate mansions to explore. You know, if they made one comically large house for Luigi to explore with all of this stuff in it, I think it would've been way funnier, but that's just me. It's not even really a nitpick, it's just kinda... I don't know, it's just a me thing. I can't help but feel that if next level games handled the project, things would have been very different in terms of quality because when you put Luigi's Mansion 2 and 3 side by side for comparison, oh, I think I'm gonna be sick again. Again, this is probably just a me thing, but even for Switch standards, this game just looks pretty bad. Let's look one more time, shall we? Luigi's Mansion 3, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, Luigi's Mansion 2 on Citra, the Last of Us 2, The Last of Us Part 2, it's the DAMN SAME FUCK! I can't be the only one who thinks this is but ugly, right? Pretty much the only thing graphically changed from the original game looks to be the models, and yeah, they yeah, they look pretty good, I, I can't help it, Luigi looks pretty cute in that outfit, I'm, I'm pretty sure these were ripped straight from 3, which makes it even lazier, but I, I you know, I'm no game critic, I'm just Delonic, the CEO of Xenoblade. These textures look damn near unchanged. I mean, there are some differences and upgrades in the textures, like the arm on Luigi's chair. Oh, thank God, I didn't know what I would have done without that change. 10 out of 10, I'm sorry, Nintendo. If it weren't for the updated models in this game, I would just say that this is the bare, um... Well, that's the thing, it doesn't even reach minimum. This fucking sucks. 
And you know what? Maybe I'm being a bit harsh too. Who knows? We're reaching the end of the Switch's lifespan. The Switch 2 is announced and it's coming very soon. We know this by now. Even in the grand scheme of things, this is just a small shitty footnote in what's shaping up to be a fantastic final year for the Switch. I mean, we just got off the heels of one of the best directs we've had in years, and that's something we never expected considering where we are in the Switch's life. But I can't shake the feeling that this is the culmination of modern Nintendo's greed with their IPs. Maybe even they knew they fucked up, and that's why the marketing is so minimal with this title. There's practically nothing to it besides the original game and a multiplayer mode that's gonna die within a month. What's not dying in a month, however, is this YouTube channel. In the past three weeks, we doubled our subscriber count. This isn't in the script. I just forgot to say subscribe to the channel. Uh, 98 point some percent of you aren't subscribed. You should, you should do that. It is surprising because so many people thought that Skyward Sword HD was the laziest port slash remaster out there when in hindsight it was pretty damn good. I'll make a full review of it someday when I get the game's dungeons ranking video out and whatnot, but in short, there's a lot of quality of life improvements that make the game simply better to go through. The main game is still intact for better or for worse, and you know, being able to skip cutscenes, faster text, the amiibo fast travel thing, which, you know, that was a problem when the game first came out, but when GameStop sold them for like $5, you know, I bought two and now it's no longer a problem. What I'm trying to say is that even what everyone thought was Nintendo's worst and laziest turns out to just be so much worse than they could have imagined. Luigi's Mansion 3 is, in my opinion, one of, if not the best looking Switch game out there. The lighting, the animations, everything just looks outstanding for a handheld Xbox 360. And uh, putting it next to the second game's brand new port almost five years later, you would think 2HD would have been a launch title for the Switch or something. Like they were still getting their footing with how the console works, and Luigi's Mansion 3 would have been the culmination of that, but no. This is a Nintendo product in 2024, sold for 60 damn dollars, and part of me hopes that this game fails, even though I know it probably won't. If anything, at the very least, they could have thrown in a basic port of the original game on GameCube to extend that price tag a little bit further. You know, at least then you could have had the entire trilogy on Switch, and I wouldn't feel as if I got ripped off as bad as I did. I mean, shit, Pikmin 1 and 2 exist, so why can't Luigi's Mansion 1 and 2? Those games were sold for 50 bucks together, or 30 bucks individually. These were even more basic than 2 HD, literal ports of the original game and no one batted an eye. At least from what I saw, everyone was excited to finally have the entire Pikmin quadrilogy on one console, and I think that was mainly due to Nintendo selling those games as they are and not pretending they're something else. If Luigi's Mansion 1 was thrown into the HD package, I think a lot more people would have been happy with the product. Now, of course, Luigi's Mansion 2 is the same as it ever was on Switch, so naturally, people are going to enjoy it all the same. But if you look up the reviews on sites like IGN, Nintendo Life, and many others, the scores are lower than the original game, and it's most likely got to do with the fact that the game just doesn't do enough to warrant an HD port and a $60 price tag. They say this is the best way to play the game, and that's definitely true, but at what cost, you know? If you're like me and bought the original game for 25 bucks on your 3DS, then, uh, then what's the point? I'll tell you right now, there is none. When all is said and done, however, you have to look at the pros and the cons to make your decision. If the HD upgrade is good enough for you to put down a full $60 for this game, then go right ahead and play it. Enjoy yourself. Don't let my thoughts deter you from picking this game up if you're thinking about trying it. I just can't personally think of a reason to pick it up for myself. Until I actually did pick it up, because this is kind of my job. I'm very stubborn about collecting my own footage for my videos, unless there's actually no way that I can really get it, so I went and paid $65 for this garbage. You can call me a shell or a bootleg liquor all day, but if I really was, I'd be giving this game high scores like everyone else. On the bright side, uh, now that I'm making this video and have collected my footage, I can at least get my $65 back, right? What's up, Delonic Nation? It's me, Delonic, big fat Xenoblade guy. And uh, right now, we're just driving to, uh, to Walmart right now to return Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Big pile of garbage. Uh, big surprise that the $60 HD port was not very good. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna return the game as like the big epic finale to this video. Oh! I would just like to humbly apologize for my outburst just now. There was a spider in my car, and as we all know, Delonic Nation, I am deathly afraid of spiders. Really, really scared. Uh, don't worry though, I killed it, it's dead. There's no more harmful things in my car. Um, as you know, as we all know, common Delonic lore, that, that's how I dislocated my toe once was running away from a, uh, uh from a spider. 
True story. Anyway, let's go return Luigi's Mansion 2. You may be wondering why you're looking at footage of the hit game Red Dead Redemption 2 instead of me returning Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Well, that's because apparently I'm stuck with this fucking thing. Yeah, it turns out Walmart policy is against returning video games, and I kid you not, it's for the dumbest reason imaginable. If the game is downloadable, they can't take it back, which is every game ever on a digital storefront, but that's not on a cartridge that you can buy for them. It's it's really stupid, but regardless, it seems my sins have finally caught up to me, as this, uh, this shit stain of a game is forever plastered on my shelf right next to a game I WISH I COULD BE PLAYING! For those who have been asking, I just want to lay your worries to rest. There will be a full review of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. It'll be up on my channel very soon. Not very soon. I just I, I just need to beat the game first, and then I can start making the video. When that'll be? Uh, I don't know. I have a full-time job, but I know that it's going to come someday. I hope. Like and subscribe. Now, hey, what do you play in? Switch. What you vacuum when you're done? done. Nothing, Nothing wrong being HD. HD. Make sure it ain't price sixty dollars. Yeah, double sided. Suck it up, those uh, ghosts. Shit. Oh, what I, game I do I, I get? Sorry, guys. Sorry, Luigi's Mansion Two. <laughs>